If you are using Drizzle, you really should be using relations and queries instead of classical select. This is because the classical select with joins only exists to make classical SQL users happy that believe in a flat earth and therefore want the relational data in the same format. But for those of us that believe in a round earth and want the relational data in a nice object format, Drizzle relations are the way to go. Let me explain with some real world code. We'll use a simple schema from Boolean art. We have a customer that might have zero or more subscriptions and each subscription can have zero or more seat assignments. And within the dashboard, we have the simple task of showing the customer the subscriptions as well as the seat assignments. Now, traditionally, in order to create this data, we would use SQL joins, and it might be the first tool you reach for in your tool belt. So let's take a look at what this looks like in code, and it's a janky flat earth result. We create this function called query customer subscriptions, which takes an email for the customer that we are trying to query. We start off by using db.select and then from the pedal customer table, we select the row such that the column email matches the provided input email. To load all the subscriptions, we use an inner join because we only care about customers that actually have subscriptions for this particular case. And of course, we join on the customer ID, which is present within the pedal customer as well as the pedal subscription table. Next, we have to bring in the seat assignments and for this, we use the left join because we still want a result for a customer even if they haven't assigned any of the subscriptions to someone else. And this is pretty straightforward and quite easy to do with Drizzle. However, my question to you is what do you think is going to be the return type for the query that we just wrote? Now because of the way that SQL works and this is just us trying to write SQL using TypeScript, the result is going to be flat with the items repeated and it won't really organize into a nice object structure. So individual items will consist of a pedal customer and a pedal subscription as well as an optional subscription assignment and the same customer will be repeated multiple times based on how many subscriptions and assignments that they have. Now at this point you can try to improve the situation by massaging the select result a bit more but we can actually take a different approach altogether which gives us a much nicer result. Defining relations is a core part of object relational mapping, which is what the ORM in Drizzle ORM stands for. Once you have these relations defined, you can interact with your relational tables as if they were standard nested JavaScript objects. So let's define these relations for our Boolean R schema. First up, we have the relationship from the customer table to the subscription table. And this is going to be a one to many where a single customer can have multiple subscriptions. Now we also need to define the inverse relationship which specifies which field in the subscription table relates to the customer table and that is defined over here by specifying that the pedal subscription table is going to have one customer such that the pedal subscription table customer ID is going to be the same as the pedal customer table ID. Additionally, a subscription can have multiple assignments. So we also define that over here. So a pedal subscription might have multiple custom subscription assignments. And the final relationship that we need to define is that a subscription assignment is linked to a single pedal subscription. And that's quite easily done using a one relationship. We've configured over here that a subscription assignment is going to have a subscription field, which is going to consist of one pedal subscription table item, such that the IDs between the two tables match. Defining the relations is a one-time effort. And when you think about it, it's great documentation of your schema as code. This will help your future self get a better understanding of your database model. That said, you unlock the real power of defined relations when you combine them with Drizzle queries. So let's recreate the query by customer email function. This time, instead of using db.select, we will use db.query and we will be querying the pedal customer table. We only want to find the first result where the table.email column matches the input email. The real power of queries is that we can organize our result based on relations. So we can specify that the customer table should come with its subscriptions. And then we can go even further and specify that the subscriptions should come with their assignments. Now, all of this is actually getting type checked by TypeScript and you will also get a nice autocomplete along the way. Now let's take a look at how the query result is nicely organized compared to what we previously saw with the select. You can see that the raw result consists of fields from the customer along with the subscriptions as a nested object array. And then the subscriptions themselves also contain the assignments as a nested array. And when you are using the query syntax, you are actually thinking more along the lines of an object structure instead of SQL and SQL joins.
When creating Boolean art, I decided to build it myself so that you can actually see what you can achieve when you learn the skills presented in the courses. Thank you for joining me in these behind the scene insights. Smash that like and subscribe for more tips and tricks and I will see you in the next one.